Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, this is Car Addict. Uh, just doing this real quick. I'm on the way to get some from the store. And uh, so something was just bugging me. Um, how many of you people watch movies, uh, especially, or TV shows, especially that have, they're not necessarily about a car, but they just have something mentioned regarding a car. And does it just drive you nuts when they spew the stupidest bullshit that makes no sense whatsoever? Uh, and you gotta wonder, like, who writes it? I mean, is it like Donald Trump and Cam Newton have a little meeting in the background and say, ha 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 ha, let's have this chick say this stupid shit and it'll be hilarious because she won't know what she's talking about and she'll think she's right and we'll all have a good laugh. Ha ha ha. It's funny to hear a female talk about routes. Like, it's funny. So here's the clip I'm going to show you. Um, what inspired my thought process on this tonight. And I mean, before I show you two, I don't know why I give the Fast and the Furious a little bit of a pass because they do say some stupid stuff. Uh, I think it might be a little better now than it was in the beginning or I just uh, really give them a pass and don't pay that much attention because there's the, the beautiful women, the nice cars, the explosions and the fighting and everything. I mean, it's good stuff. Uh, so you can overlook that, I guess. But... Um, like the two latest things I saw was Netflix's The Fastest Car or something. Most of the stuff they say is pretty ridiculous, but one, the lady's talking about uh, nitrous. Like it's uh, what it does is it increases the capacity of the motor. I forget exactly the way she words it, but she kind of tones down at the end of her phrase, almost as if she knows what she's saying is stupid, but they're paying her money to say it. And then, so she says it, and then she feels like a sellout. So nitrous is really cold, compressed air, and it sprays into the motor, which increases the motor capacity. That's almost what it seems like to me there. But tonight I was watching uh, Luke Cage, and just check this clip out. It's lame. Okay, what would you do? Ford Mustang, black, six bolt V8 engine with cast iron. Plural? Damn. I think that might be my problem. I just need more than one. I need multiple water pumps on my Civic, and it'll probably be like the best thing since sliced bread. It'll be awesome, right? I mean, oh, and cast iron too? Everybody wants their shit cast iron. I mean, billet aluminum and uh, any other kind of exotic materials is just crap. You want cast iron. That just screams performance. Heavy ass cast iron. <laughs> so that's just kind of ridiculous um, uh, oh, I'm not really sure where I was going to go with this it's just I can't believe some of the things they spew like in the very first Fast and Furious the thing that sucks too is uh, people believe that that is the truth like the very first Fast and Furious I am telling people I work with that an RSR 20 is not gonna be in a Civic. It's not happening. Uh, it's not a Honda engine. I mean, I guess if you really want it, you could do it, but nobody's gonna do it. Oh, and the other one that really got me was uh, when he says, Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. So then I told my coworker too, uh, nobody double clutches on an upshift. That's stupid. Um, plus, a race doesn't do this. It just goes, one person pulls away or the other person pulls away. There's not all this back and forth crap over a quarter mile or any really stretch. I mean, you might fall behind and then catch up and pass once, but it just doesn't go back and forth like that. You can't decide, oh, wow, I'm in the middle of a race. Oh, I can downshift and then accelerate and pass them. Um, and they say stuff like, you know, Matt, I think they know a little bit more than you do. Uh, no, they don't, you condescending asshole. I know more than they do. Um, so, I don't know why I let it bother me so much um, <laughs> when they just spout incoherent bullcrap uh, regarding cars on TV. But uh, let me know if it, you feel the same way. And then in a second, we're going to go up this road because it makes my bypass valve sound awesome. So we should hear what your car can sound like with a... Uh, this is a three and a half inch colder intake, three and a quarter inch uh, mass.
mass airflow housing, so it's almost, it's almost spec to a PRL race uh, setup. I think theirs is four inch to three and an eighth or something, mine's three and a half to three and a quarter, but it's close. Back to third gear. It's catching up to a car though, so. It sounds so good. Here, we'll get some good boost in third gear real quick. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I had something more pressing to talk to you about tonight, but I figured the drive wasn't going to be long enough, and I would rather do it in the daylight. Uh, and I had the GoPro and everything on me, so I just figured I'd get that off my chest about uh, script writers. Um, are they doing it because later on the person's going to find out what they said is wrong and they're going to feel stupid about themselves? Um, does the script writer just really not know? Um, it can't be that hard to do research. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyways, uh, I guess I'm done wasting your time on that for now. See you later. Alright, it just sounds too good to not do it one more time. <laughs> I really hope the mic picks it up pretty good.